it affects almost half of the children. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think it's half, which is eczema. Eczema is one of the things that we see probably most common in kids in our office. Um, it's kind of a broad term yes. that's used to describe a few different um, type of reactions, but um, for the most part, it is what we refer to as atopic dermatitis. So the diagnosis is atopic dermatitis. Um, what exactly is it? What, what happens? So atopic dermatitis is one of the most frustrating things that parents can deal with. Um, and it ranges from very mild atopic dermatitis to severe atopic dermatitis. Um, it can be just dryness with a few scaly dry patches mm -hmm. or it can be kids who get infections because they start to ooze and they're significantly itchy. So sometimes the itch is really um, uncomfortable, the child can't sleep at night, um, they itch so much that they get the areas infected. Um, and that's, uh, there's a lot of treatments that we can use for it, but still sometimes some kids the treatments just help. but. Um, it's not necessarily curable, it's a controllable condition, um, and it does tend to resolve in about half of the cases in adulthood. In adulthood. Um, and the, the, the kids that do continue to have it as adults, it tends to be a little bit milder than as um, kids. I tend to tell, par tell parents, when they're gonna get to the age of acne where they become oily, a lot of them will get better with their atopic dermatitis. And does it happen anywhere in your body? Because I've seen it on uh, some children's faces, but yet I've seen them also on the body. So it can happen anywhere. Um, the kids' bodies tend to be where it starts for the most part, but a lot of babies will also have it around their mouth. Um, sometimes it can be on the face, which tends to be very frustrating for kids, especially when you're getting to your teen years and you have all of these dry patches all over the face. And it sometimes limits what makeup you can use as a teenager, um, if you can use lipstick on your lips and mm -hmm. things like that. Very common areas are um, behind the knees and the elbows. Um, and any child, like babies, saliva around the mouth, around the mouth all of yes. that will cause um, eczema reactions.